Number 43. How many watts does a flashlight that has 6 times 10 to the 2 coulombs pass through it in 0.5 hours use if its voltage is 3 volts? All right. So they're asking us how many watts. Now, when we think about this, we're like, well, wait, wait a minute. What physics principle is that? Watts? Huh? I know we got power, we got resistance, we got voltage, we got current, we got right, charge, we got time, we got... You have to, this is where you have to know what the units represent. In other words, watts is a unit of power. Power. So instead of the question asking how many watts, I think it's better to think about how much power in watts, okay, does a flashlight that has blah, blah, blah. All right. Now this helps me focus on now the appropriate formula. So I know I'm dealing with power and I'm going to be looking at the power formulas over there on the right hand side. So now if you took a look at 42, this problem is probably pretty simple. So we know we're probably going to be using PIV. In other words, power is going to be equal to the current passing through a particular object multiplied then by the voltage or the potential difference between two particular points. So it doesn't give me though current, right? But it gives me a charge that is passing through a particular point in, or an object, in 0.5 hours. So we have to remember that the definition of current over here on the top is going to be current is equal to the change in charge divided by the change in time. All right. Q stands for charge. Right? Of course that makes sense. Right? Q, C, charge. Yeah. So here, power is going to be equal to now the current. And instead of writing it as, you know, I, I'm going to write it as Q over T. You could write it as C over T. It doesn't matter. Who cares? But we'll write it here this time. I think the last problem I did, uh, C over T. So the charge divided by the time multiplied now by the voltage. Okay. Now remember, current has to be in coulombs. Coulombs. The time has to be in seconds and the volt has to be in, well, the voltage has to be in volts. Okay. So now all we need to do is simply plug in the values. And if we don't have the right units, we just do conversions. So they gave us the charge, 6 in coulombs, 6.00 times 10 to the 2, divided then by the time, that's got to be in seconds. So how many seconds are in a half hour? Right, just simply multiply that by 3600 because there's 3600 seconds in an hour. So half of this would represent the amount of seconds in half an hour. And then multiply that by 3 volts. And voila! Take out that handy dandy calculator, 2 times 10 to the, oh, excuse me, 6 times 10 to the 2, divided by now parentheses 0. 0.5 times 3600, close those parentheses, and then multiply it by 3. 1. 1 watt. Right, how many sig figs? I guess put 3, so do 1.00, and you're good to go. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Take care.